Hello everyone. Um, so this is my um, arcade one up uh, with the the vertical monitor. Um, so Rec Room Masters probably about a month ago, maybe late, uh, later than that. But anyway, um, they came out with or they're going to come out with a vertical monitor, um, a cabinet that holds a vertical monitor, and I like that uh, look of it. So I decided. Um, See if I could do that with an arcade one up, and uh, this is what I came up with. So essentially, this is this is a 32 inch uh, Vizio TV. Um, so basically, what I did was um, I took off the um, to give me to give me a little room so this would fit. I took off the uh, plastic around the front, and then I put on um, angled aluminum, uh, three fourths of an inch. And then uh, screwed that onto the side, each side. And then uh, built a frame so that I could set it in there. And then also what I did um, on the sides here, where normally where the monitor would go, uh, there's one arcade one up to put their monitor in. You know they have a uh, they have a little bit of, of um, routed out material, routed out material, so you can put the monitor in there. So basically, I just took a router and put that all the way up to the top on each side so that the monitor could uh, fit in there. Um, also, because there's no there's no more marquee, uh, I had to I had to figure out a way to get the um, sides uh, to um, hold in the monitor. So basically, I had to create two new uh, screws. Uh, that are going into the actual frame of the uh, marquee here, or the frame of the uh, monitor, uh, so that it holds it in place. Um, so in the back here, it's just the TV. I left the plastic covering on the TV. Uh, one of the reasons why I got this particular TV is because the uh, power and volume are on the side here, which means it's on the top, so it's easily accessible. Uh, so I don't have to reroute the power or the uh, volume control on the TV because it's on the top. So I don't have to reroute that. Uh, you'll see some wires hanging here. Uh, these are the speakers. Uh, because the speakers are on the side, uh, can't you know? I'd have to. I'd had to move the speakers. So basically, that's what these two cables are. They're for the uh, for speaker wires. And uh, so they're just hanging out for right now. Um, I was waiting for some uh, connectors to come so I could extend it. And I'll either put the speakers on the top or when I do the new H panel here, I'll put them on the H panel. Uh, but I'll do either one. And that other cable down there that's hanging, uh, that's for the remote control, the IR, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, infrared for the remote control. I'll probably put that somewhere on the top here. Um, so that I can use the remote control. Uh, so basically that's it in a nutshell. Um, now Rec Room Masters also on their website, um, they have a YouTube video and there's a link to download a bunch of main layout files. They're specifically for the, uh, for this particular, um, orientation. So they got, they got quite a few games, um. So I just wanted to show you here uh, what the, what these look like. So we'll start with nine. I just got a few games, 1943. So when you go in here, as you can see, you know it's got a little bit of a marquee around it, uh, and then of course it's got the uh, I'm sorry bezel, and then of course it's got the marquee. Now for these uh, for games like this, um, basically you can go into the video and you can do a large. When you go to large, it gets rid of that um, speaker graphic and that, and then you know you got a full screen there. Um, and it's the same thing for Miss Pac-Man. If I go into Miss Pac-Man, um, it's the same thing. You got a small screen, and then if I go to videos and go to large, it goes to large screen. So then I also got another game, Punch Out. They had one for Punch Out, which is uh, has two uh, screens, um, and uh, there, there's no other uh, format for that. It's just this one particular format they have for it. And then the other game, Street Fighter. Again, they only have this in a large format. Um, 
they don't have the uh, they don't have a small one or anything like that. This is the only selection they have. Now I can go back later. I've been reading up on layout files, um, and there's some interesting things that you can do with it um, that I plan on uh, editing some of these files and kind of customizing some things um, that I want to do. Uh, for example, like with the Street Fighter II, I could actually move that screen down a little bit and then maybe do a like a um, what what's going around an arcade topper that has all the moves all uh, listed on the top. Um, you know, it's just, you can pretty much do a lot with it. Um, so that's about it for right now. Um, I'm about 50% done with this project. Uh, I still have to, what's remaining of course is to hook up the speakers. Uh, I got to put the, um, plastic of Lexan on top of that. Um, also border it out. I'm going to border it out with black and then put, um, the Lexan on top, uh, so that it's protected and then um, hook up the speakers. And then of course, gotta hook up the control panel and get everything else hooked up. But for the most part, this is it. Um, and I really I really like this uh, format. Um, and anyone interested uh, in doing this, um, wants to do this, I, I highly recommend it. Um, it gives you, um, you don't have, if you would like an LCD marquee, you know, or if you just wanna see like, a bigger screen that you can work with instead of being a 20 inch screen you, know, you just buy you know if you if you can do this you know get the 32 inch monitor put it in there you got pretty much a 20 inch monitor plus you got an lcd marquee um and i i just think i just think it works out great um so i'll uh, i'll put another video out once i get everything done and um uh, thanks for watching